Thank you, Catherine. Time now 531. Here's what's happening in Greenville County. Vacant for 26 years and failed plan after failed plan. There are finally set plans for the lot that was once the Greenville Memorial Auditorium site. This is the area right as you drive into downtown from I-385. Our Fox Carolina's Kennedy Harris tells us what's coming next that will change Greenville's entryway and even the skyline. This, in many respects, is the first thing you see when you come into downtown. It's also in a corridor that, frankly, doesn't make a great impression. Serving as the gateway to downtown off 385 is currently the Law Enforcement Center, Wellness Arena, and Blighted Buildings. For most people saw this site merely as an entryway to downtown. We saw it differently. In our developments is one of the many developers to take a swing at the site. Their idea is this. Two towers, the highest reaching 15 stories, nearly 300 apartments, space for retail, restaurants, and art studios. We are very aware of how relevant the site is for the city, and therefore we really are trying to uh, bring something to the city that's iconic and that really reinvigorates the area and perhaps takes it to uh, what once was. Our main focus is not how tall a building is. It's what's happening on the street level. It's about more than just the towers. Right now, this is a parking lot, but the plan is to make it Gracie's Plaza, a public plaza with access to retail and also the arena next door. And then you begin to see an arena district around the Bunce Core Center that where you might see restaurants, you might even see a you know, small hotel perhaps, but you'll see real activity. Mayor White says the corridor will look more like Main Street. The project is already fueling proposals around it like the 19-story tower on Academy, East Park townhomes, and the Greenville Summit expansion offering affordable housing for seniors. I think inevitably, over time, you'll see redevelopment all of all those sites coming into Greenville. Developers hope to break ground in early 2024. Uh, we really can't wait to uh, put shovels in the ground, and uh, we really can't wait to deliver a product that we think is unique. Kennedy Harris, Fox Carolina News.